I've got a little challenge for y'all that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Yeah, try it. It really works. UK Immigration Updates the 29th of June 2020 In this video, we discuss the latest updates from UK Home Office and UK Visa Application Centres around the world. This includes a quick overview of the current UK Home Office coronavirus concessions and list of biometric offices in the UK and Visa Centres abroad which are now open for service. UK Home Office Coronavirus Concessions includes Can't leave the UK, you can extend. Why not extend your visa to the 31st of July 2020? If you want to leave the UK but can't due to travel disruptions and your visa expires between the 24th of January and the 30th of July 2020, you can extend your visa to the 31st of July 2020. Also, you can now switch visas whilst in the UK, even if your visa expires sometime after the 31st of July 2020, provided there is an overriding practical reason for it. For example, your work or studies start in August or September 2020, and the UK Visa Application Centre in your home country is still closed. Family visas. You can now switch to family visas whilst in the UK, this is regardless of when your current visa expires. You need to be already in the UK, meet all the family visa requirements and apply before the 31st of July 2020, particularly if switching in country is normally not allowed on your current visa type. Missing documents. If you are facing difficulties meeting certain requirements or unable to gather documents, Due to coronavirus lockdown, you may have more time to provide the documents or have the requirement waived. Start work or studies. You may be able to get started without a home office decision. For Tier 2, 4 and 5, you may commence work or studies without having to wait the home office decision on your application. Of course you must lodge an application and on the face of it, meet all the requirements. You should always seek professional advice when engaging in concessions that has not been fully tested so that you get the right balance between risk of a visa refusal or change in your visa route or duration and also overall costs. You should also take into account the potential time away from your family and friends in any given visa option or scenario. Opening Biometric Offices in the UK As of the 29th of June 2020, the following offices are open for fingerprints and biometric data in the UK. Birmingham, Chelmsford, Exeter, Leeds, London Croydon, London Mark Lane, London Victoria, Manchester, Sheffield and Southampton. Booking your appointments. You can book an appointment if your appointment was cancelled due to COVID. For this you will receive an email from the UK Home Office asking you to click on the link to rebook your appointment. For new applicants, the option to book an appointment may not show when you go through your online application process. If this happens, you will have to either wait for the email to request your booking or check your application final tasks page on the application portal for guidance. As regards UK visa centres abroad, the following list of countries have reopened UK visa application centres. It includes China, Egypt, Japan, Morocco, Nigeria, Russia and Turkey. UK Visa Application Centres in India and Sri Lanka will open on the 6th of July 2020. The centres include Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Mumbai and New Delhi. All other visa application centers in South Asia, including Pakistan, remain closed until further notice. If your country or city is not listed, it means that it is still closed, unless it never closed or was affected by lockdowns. 
The data presented in this video is taken directly from UK government announcements and official websites. As regards UK visa centres outside the UK, the data is taken from two service providers, TLS Contact and VFS Global, they manage and run the facilities. Please note that, the information provided is of general nature, and may differ in your particular case. You should seek professional help, and guidance in your specific case and facts. Please check the description box, for links to the documents and websites discussed. Why not subscribe to our channel to stay updated and share this video with your friends.